Hey guys, without wasting any time, we're starting the video with Marvel's Wolverine, an action game developed by Insomniac Games, known for their work on titles like the Marvel's Spider-Man series. The game is being designed as a solo adventure in a semi-open world, allowing players to explore the environment while controlling Wolverine. Leaked information indicates that the gameplay will include elements of intense combat, stealth, and a rich narrative. Additionally, the game will have a violent style, reflecting the nature of the character, which suggests that the age rating will be for adults. Marvel's Wolverine is shaping up to be one of the most anticipated releases for Sony consoles, especially for the PlayStation 5 Pro. Following the list, we have Judas, the next first-person shooter title developed by Ghost Story Games under the direction of Ken Levine, known for his work on the Bioshock series. This will be Levine's first game since Bioshock Infinite Burial at Sea, released in 2014. The game features an intense narrative, where the player takes on the role of Judas in a setting of a disintegrating spaceship. The plot revolves around a desperate escape plan, where Judas must form alliances with enemies to fix what was broken or let everything end. Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines 2 is the long-awaited sequel to the acclaimed action RPG released in 2004, which is based on the Vampire the Masquerade tabletop RPG universe. The game takes place in modern-day Seattle, which is on the verge of open war between vampire factions. Players take on the role of an ancient vampire named Fire, who awakens after 100 years of hibernation. The narrative focuses on the complexities of vampire society and the consequences of their actions. The player can choose from different vampire clans, each with their own abilities and play styles. Go to gal for fun times at the OK Camarilla. Sophia's always been scatterbrained. You... You're... The Nomad. This town's had a queen for a long, long time. How uninvited. There had better be a reason. If I were a betting man, I'd say the heads are just starting to roll. And I am. Who's ready for a bit of fun? Killing Floor 3 is an action horror game that belongs to the Killing Floor game series. The story takes place in the year 2091, where a mega corporation called Horzine creates an army of Zeds, which are creatures resulting from bioengineering. You will control a member of the Nightfall Rebel Group, whose main objective is to fight against these creatures and save humanity. The game will feature intense gameplay, where you will need to fight against waves of Zeds, earn money, unlock skills, and build your arsenal. Additionally, the game will have a multiplayer mode, where you can play with up to five friends. Indiana Jones and the Great Circle is a first-person action-adventure game that puts players in the role of the iconic archaeologist. The game promises a cinematic action-adventure experience, with a focus on exploration, immersive action, and intriguing puzzles. Players will travel the world, from the corridors of Marshall College to the pyramids of Egypt and the submerged temples of Sukhothai. The game features a mix of melee combat, shooting, and stealth, with Indiana Jones's iconic whip playing an important role in combat and exploration. I'm inspired by thirst. I'm inspired by worth. I desire your worth. 
Fatal Fury City of the Wolves is the newest addition to SNK's acclaimed fighting game series. Announced with great anticipation by fans, this title promises to bring back the excitement and intensity of the franchise's classic battles, with enhanced graphics and modern gameplay mechanics. The game offers two control schemes, the arcade style, which requires precise inputs and techniques, and the smart style, which allows you to execute special moves and combos with simple directional inputs and button presses. City of the Wolves also features a single-player RPG mode called Episodes of Southtown, where players face opponents in different fighting conditions, earning XP and rewards. Mandragora is a 2.5D action game that combines elements of RPG, Metroidvania, and Souls-like. The setting of Mandragora is dark and full of dangers, where humanity hides from monsters that dominate the world. Players will explore the realm of entropy, an environment that defies reality and requires strategic skills to survive. The game stands out for its mix of styles, offering gameplay that requires both skill and exploration. The Metroidvania elements allow players to discover new areas and abilities as they progress while the Souls-like aspects introduce a level of challenge that can be quite rewarding for fans of games that demand precision and strategy. This place crackles with ancient magic. Entropy is within you. Claire Obscure Expedition 33 is a new turn-based RPG being developed by the French studio Sandfall Interactive, composed of former members of Ubisoft. The game combines elements of fantasy with the historical context of the Belle Époque, a period of great cultural and artistic development in France. This fusion promises to create a unique experience, both in terms of narrative and visual design. The studio has confirmed that the game will have over 30 hours of content, which is quite significant for an RPG, especially considering that the price will be around use $50, a more affordable value compared to other AAA titles. Crimson Desert is an open-world action RPG developed by Pearl Abyss, the same company behind the popular Black Desert Online. The game is being eagerly awaited by fans of the genre, promising an immersive and action-packed experience. The game takes place in a medieval fantasy world called Crimson Desert, where players take on the role of mercenaries fighting for survival in a world constantly at war. For the PlayStation 5 Pro, Crimson Desert is expected to take full advantage of the new console's capabilities, including 4K graphics, faster loading times, and an immersive gaming experience. Sony initially wanted the game to be a PS5 exclusive, which indicates that the studio may be focusing on specific optimizations for that platform. Ghost of Yotei, the highly anticipated sequel to Ghost of Tsushima, promises to take players on a new epic adventure in feudal Japan, this time in the lands around Mount Yotei, located in Hokkaido. The story of Ghost of Yotei unfolds in a setting that promises to be as rich and vibrant as its predecessor. The game explores the life of Atsu, who becomes a new warrior in a world full of challenges and adversity. The PlayStation blog mentioned that Ghost of Yotei will be the first Sucker Punch game to be optimized for the PS5 Pro, which could include significant improvements in resolution, frame rate, and graphical detail.
Welcome to Drawbridge, Sam. Death Stranding 2. On the Beach promises to continue the exploration of themes like human connection and loneliness, hallmarks of the first title. The new adventure takes place in a world still dealing with the consequences of the cataclysmic event that separated humanity. On the Beach promises graphical and gameplay advancements over its predecessor. The game will feature new environments, enemies, and countries, expanding the game's universe. Possibly on the PS5 Pro, the game will run at a 4K resolution or even an 8K mode. Who knows? The PS5 Pro could achieve a higher frame rate, resulting in smoother and more responsive gameplay. As I told you, Drawbridge is a civilian outfit. But we do have a generous patron with access to plenty of capital and tech. Sounds like a UCA... GTA 6 is one of the most anticipated releases in the world of video games, promising to bring significant innovations and an immersive experience for players. Rockstar Games, known for its quality and attention to detail, has confirmed that the game is in development and is expected to be released in 2025. While GTA 6 is expected for other platforms, there are rumors that the game may have exclusive marketing for the PS5 and PS5 Pro, which could mean that players on those platforms will have access to exclusive content at launch. With the PS5 Pro, players can expect significant improvements in terms of performance and graphics. This includes higher frame rates and support for higher resolutions, which should provide a smoother and visually more beautiful gaming experience. Rockstar has a history of optimizing its games to take advantage of console capabilities, and GTA 6 should be no exception.